Hello, I'm Bill Pop, President and CEO of the Anchorage Economic Development Corporation, and thank you for joining me today. This video is part of a series that details AEDC's economic forecast for 2022. Research cited in this video was conducted by McKinley Research Group, a team of respected professionals with nearly 50 years of experience providing research, consulting, and advisory services. In this episode, we'll talk about government. Government sector employment averaged 26,300 jobs in 2021, down about 200 jobs from 2020. Although government employment has been on a downward trend over the last decade, the sector saw smaller losses over the course of the pandemic than other industries. Government employment in Anchorage is reasonably well balanced between state government, including the University of Alaska Anchorage with about 9,400 jobs, local government, including the Anchorage School District with about 8,600 jobs, and federal government, excluding active duty military with about 8,500 jobs. Combined, the sector accounts for about 19% of the jobs in Anchorage and 22% of the wages paid in Anchorage. Basically, one out of five jobs in Anchorage is thanks to a government job. Anchorage is home to 35% of all public employment in Alaska, including 55% of federal employment, 42% of state of Alaska employment, and 23% of local government employment. Now, AEDC expects government sector employment to increase to 26,500 jobs in 2022, an increase of about 200 jobs. Federal government employment in Anchorage has remained stable over the last few years. Federal employment grew by about 200 jobs in 2020 in conjunction with the 2020 census. Employment declined in 2021 as these temporary jobs ramped down. Passage of the Federal Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act is likely to increase federal employment as jobs are added to manage the $5 billion in federal funding expected to flow into Alaska over a five-year period. State government employment declined over the past two years. Declines in state government employment have been largely driven by unwise cuts to the university system. Preliminary data indicates 2021 University of Alaska employment in Anchorage fell to an average of 1,850 jobs, a 30% reduction from the peak of state education employment in our city, damaging our ability to respond to opportunities in the future. Employment at the university has yet to recover to pre-pandemic levels, and the university has experienced further losses in 2021 due to state government funding cuts. The governor's proposed FY22 budget includes a further $20 million cut in UA funding, in addition to a $25 million reduction in FY2021. The Board of Directors of the Anchorage Economic Development Corporation objects to these cuts and believes that we need to be investing more into our university system if we are to meet the challenges of the future and take full advantage of the opportunities that are coming our way in the coming months and years. Now, according to the Alaska Office of Management and Budget, unfilled state positions across many departments will be cut from the budget in 2022. Local government has experienced job losses over the past two years, primarily due to reductions in school district employment as educators first adjusted to remote learning, then resumed in-person instruction. Now, the mayor's proposed FY22 operating budget would see funding for unfilled positions in local government cut in 2022. Local education jobs were down in 2021. Preliminary data suggests that employment at the Anchorage School District has remained below pre-pandemic levels, even as schools reopened. Funding gaps are expected at the Anchorage School District and the budget has not yet been resolved. To see more 2022 economic forecast videos and read the latest reports, go to aedcweb.com. All projections are based on information available at the time of this report.